Hi everyone. Um, it's another, you know, uh, it's another part of the year, the second quarter. Okay, um, this is gonna be your second quarter for love. Okay, um, I'm gonna put down the link um, for your January, February, March, which I did already. It's the first quarter of the year for love, and now we are almost half of the year, which is crazy. In April, uh, May, June. So this reading is gonna be for your second quarter of the year for love okay and um also i just want to let you guys know that i'll put the link yes for the uh, january february march it's down there which we uploaded january and also there's also a year prediction of love isn't this interesting i'm saging <laughs> but yeah so i'm i'm doing this in a very different manner i'm not i'm mixing astrology because astrology is part of it but i have um houses that we you um that i will draw these are cards of astrology for the houses which will help you the goal is i'm um, focusing on that particular house again um this is related to astrology and numerology because it means whatever card I draw here, it's meant for you to focus on, okay? And I'm also going to use um, the chord cards over here, which represents, okay, so this represents the heart, okay? So it's very different. The house is the heart, and then this represents the mind, okay? And I'm going to be using a soul card which i don't have here but the soul card will be here so uh, basically mind heart and spirit okay in one okay to focus on this um you know second part of the second quarter of the year i'm so lost i shouldn't do this without even a script but yeah so and then i'm gonna be using the chrysalis for the tarot okay wow I'm just like a magician. Oh, no, it didn't work. So yeah, I'm doing the chrysalis for the tarot where it will show, okay, how to go about it with love, okay? So focus on the houses, focus on the mind, focus on the soul, and then the tarot will guide you on, you know, like things to be seen, okay, to be expected. Okay, so with that being said, <laughs> here we go for all the signs. <laughs> Hi Scorpio, we're doing now your, um, uh, you know, the next three months, April, May, June. Okay, so Scorpio, we have here, okay, as the mind that you have to, um, you know, focus on this part, <laughs> as your thoughts, you have here Knight of Cups. Now, the Knight of Cups is, uh, it, it dwells on both the surface and deep into the sea okay that's how they that's how this emotion is okay so and uh you know as far as like you know you being a water sign scorpio so it is showing here that what you have learned from the deep depths of emotion you can carry it over up to where you are because it is safe okay that's how it, that's how i'm feeling it okay now, you have here the house that you need to focus on as far as your heart is the fourth house. The fourth house is, you know, um, family and relationship. Your home and the roots of your being. Okay, so your home. Now, the house is where you are basically the depth, the depth of your connection. So, Scorpio, you're deeply connected to your home, your family, where you are, or if you're single, where your home is, basically. And it's asking you to go there, and that's where you can manifest your energy of love. Your soul card over here is very nice again also because look at this. There's fishy, fishy over here, okay? It's not asking you to smell the fish, but it is asking you, okay, allow both current, okay, and see it from 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 what, what it is. If you're manifesting love in single, okay, in these next three months, if manifesting love, see it in both current. Again, you, you have seen the depth, you have seen what is surface, you have seen, you know, um, um, both those fishes, basically the emotions, the cups, okay, crossing over you. See it for what it is, and then, you know, connect with it. The fourth house is all you know, deep connection, and you have here three of stones. Again, look at this image alone. The three of stones here, it's showing stability, structure, family. Okay, your relationship is very connected where you are, from. You know, that's what they're saying, and look at that, the star. The divine guidance, the answer, the yes, okay? So, in the next three months for the single, okay, go from the deep and go up, okay? And then take action. The night is about action, okay? And then explore your connection where you are from, and it will help you move forward. Now, for the one in a relationship, okay, 
take all those um, you know emotion to the surface and manifest a greater love okay greater love is all about you know you know getting more connected to each other you know establishing maybe I'm even sensing this is gonna be a moving in together a promise of moving forward to the next part of your life okay and look at this like there are two there are two fishes here for the couples and there's one over here it is showing that the current is towards stronger and more precise direction because it's here it is promised that you will have it the promise that you will have it, Scorpio Amazing, amazing, amazing. Strong, bonded, emotionally grounded relationship is just in the horizon for you guys. Oh, I'm a Scorpion Venus, so maybe. <laughs> All right. No, I'm just saying. All right, guys, that's going to be your love re reading for the next three months. I wish you guys well. Um, see you guys again in June. Bye.